So this is the sequencer module of RCS Zeta system. So looking at our sequencer screen in the Zeta system, when you first come in, you're gonna to wanna to put it into Live Assist. Once you put the system in Live Assist, you'll notice that all the segue markers and the stop markers have now become highlighted and the stops have reappeared. That's how you know you're in Live Assist. We know our next break coming up is at 940 because we can see that from our log that right after Forgotten Language by Fort Wilson Riot, we have a stop. And that stop means right after that, we're gonna do a back announce and a PSA, which is typical for 40 minutes after the hour during odd hour schedules. Our PSA is FEMA, Ad Council sponsored, called Not A Drop. So right after your back announce, you're gonna go back and hit play next when you're ready for the system to start playing again. On the log screen, the log screen matches the paper log to the T. Uh, it is up to you, the DJ, to make sure the log in Zeta matches the log on paper because the paper log is set in stone. So if we hit the home button, it will take us to the exact event that is playing right now. Patience by Stillwater Giants and it's a single. It will show the duration of the song and it will show what's coming up. So we have a bumper at the 30 right here, which is Sonic Youth Thurston. After that, our next break coming up is at 941. And we know that by looking at the paper log and by looking at this log, comment back announce. That means after Fort Wilson Riot, foreign language, we're going to do a back announce of these three songs. And we also know this because it has a stop on that song. On the left hand screen, that is your sequencer screen. On this screen, it will tell you how many minutes you're over for the hour, how many minutes you're under for the hour, and what's really coming up next in the immediate future. The screen on the right is known as your log. The log will tell you more in-depth information as far as album, uh, of the artist, as far as album of the artist, bumpers coming up, and what you need to do during your back announces. And you can also look further into your program to see when your stops are going to be. So this is the program log. This is a legal document recognized by the FCC. It needs to be filled out correctly. This is your station ID, which is supposed to play at the top of the hour, right at the top of the hour. Station ID is KSYM San Antonio. After 10 minutes, you have another break, which is your back announce and RCS underwriting. If you do not have any paid sponsors for the show, a RCS underwriting plea will be provided in the log screen of Zeta. At the 20 break, you will need to do a back announce, a time and weather report, and read a college calendar. Time and weather forms are available in the booth. College calendars are also available in the card box. At the 30 break, you will need to do a bumper. At the 40 break, you will have a back announce and a RCS PSA, public service announcement. 10 minutes after that, you have another bumper at the 50 break. After this bumper, you can put RCS back into automation mode. Don't forget to print your name and sign the log. Also write in the times that you go on the air and you are off the air. At the end of your shift, you're going to, you need to fill out the transmitter log. To get to the transmitter log, just hit the home screen on Internet Explorer. The password is guest. On the different categories, you want to fill in the corresponding numbers pulled from the transmitter. This needs to be done at the end of every shift. If the header is ever yellow or red, contact a KSYM staff member immediately. This is your on-air channel. This channel opens the channel for the microphone. When talking into the mic, raise the fader. Be sure to watch your levels to make sure you aren't too low or too loud when talking. 
the RCS channel should always be up at zero and always be armed with the red light. The first knob on the bottom right is your headphone knob. This is your first point of control for the headphone volume. The second one up is your monitor level. The monitor level controls the volume in the studio. If you experience any problems while using the RCS Zeta system, contact myself or any KSYM staff member. Or, if none are available, downstairs you can find Vic Fow, the chief engineer of KSYM.